all right and commotions all right let's look that up fucking legs keep pushing all right All right, the word commotion from the dictionary, number one means what? Political or social disturbance or upheaval. Sedition, the word sedition means enticement of discontent or rebellion against the government. Any action, especially in speech or writing, promoting such discontent or rebellion. All right. Insurrection. An act of or instance of rising in revolt, rebellion, or resistance against civil authority or an established government. Isn't that is is that not happening around the world? That's happening here in the states, man. That's happening in every major government that you look. You look up the news and all these major powers around the world and they got some form of people uprising and protesting. Even though it's not all caught on news like video wise you go and search out those newses and those lands and they got some type of protest commotion or uproar either small or big happening in their land and the people are speaking about taking down their governments okay the lord said these things will happen man all right the greek word right there all right is strong's greek 181 akatastia which means instability, all right? The quality or state of being unstable, lack of stability or firmness. Now, isn't that not happening amongst the people in those governments? All right? And many people around the world are unstable, man. All right? I.e. disorder, a breach of order, disorderly conduct, public disturbance, all right? Commotion, confusion. All right, disorder, upheaval, tumult, chaos, tumult, violence, and noisy commotion or disturbance of a crowd or mob, uproar, a general outbreak, riot, uprising, or other disorder. Okay, and it goes back to the root of that word, Strong's Greek 182, which is akastio, which means unstable, inconsistent, restless. All right. Those things are sprung by people being un, un, uh, unstable, man. Restless. That's what led, leads the people out on the streets protesting. And once they protesting, it leads to those, what you see, those violent outbreaks on them, man. All right. So Isaiah 13 and 4. Well, I'll read that again. Luke 21 and 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So when you see these people uproaring and protesting and acting wild and crazy in all these major governments, okay, around the world, then you know that we're close to the end. Second Ezra chapter 9, all right, verse 2. Well, uh, uh, Second Ezra's nine and one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which one of the signs is commotion, all right, and hearing of war and rumors of war, when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made." And the Hebrew word for visit is pequod, which means to punish. Okay? The Lord is going to punish these nations, man. Alright? Here's, here's one of the signs. It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, alright? Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's right. That's right. That's a sign, man. When you see earthquake, uh, earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, man. That's what we're reading about. Isaiah. 
13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a great people. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts muster the host of the battle. Okay? So this battle that's coming, this World War Three, alright? Which this is going to be a battle of fire. Alright? Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. That's right. Proving this third world war, this war, alright, that's going to take place in, in these days to come. Soon to happen, alright, it's going to be a war with fire, burning in fire, fuel of fire. And you people that ain't right, you're going to be fuel for the fire. Isaiah 9 and, and 19. Through the wrath of the Lord, the the through the ah, excuse me, through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be fuel, and the people get that pass. and the people shall be as fuel of the fire, and none no man shall spare his brother. Okay, so the people gonna be fuel for the fire. So Isaiah 13 and 4, the noise of a multitude in the mountains like a great people, a tr 